Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at some of the main feature sets a part of the Truly Me line from American Girl. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to notified every time I upload a new video. I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me these sets so I'm able to open and review them on my channel. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can get an overview of the items so they can decide what they'd like to purchase. Be sure to comment down below your favorite set. You might need to wait right up until the end of the video so you're able to see the different reviews. The first set we're going to be taking a look at is the Get Outside Camp. It comes with multiple different camping themed accessories and items. As I show each accessory item, I'm going to be setting it up so you're able to see the camper styled overall. We're going to start off with the back of the camper first. It does open and close and it reveals a kitchenette setup. There's quite a few different compartments for storing away the different accessory items. And we also have a kitchen bench too. As I show each accessory item, I'm going to be placing it down so you're able to see it set up and styled overall. Let's go ahead and start off with the top section of the camper here. We're going to be placing an accessory item over by the side, and it is this lovely plant. I love how it matches the theming of the bench, and it's the perfect decor item for the setup too. So the camper itself does have quite a few different features, makes different sounds and noises, all themed to the outdoors and camping, and there are a few music sounds as well. There's a total of four different buttons, and when you adjust this, it changes the channel. And there's also a light switch as well. There's a little light that turns on when you press the button. As for the main kitchen bench, there's quite a bit of space to display the different items a part of the set. This item is really interesting. It's meant to be a sink, so you can have it as a bench item where you can just place accessory items, or else you can open it up and turn it into a sink. So you just open this section up, you lift the tap up, you face it forward, and then we also have these as well that you can adjust to. I really love this item because you can fold it back down once you're finished with it, or else you can have it open like so. And let's add a few food and accessory items over by the other side. So first off, we have a box of pancake mix. And this is very similar to the one that's a part of the kitchen set as well. It just has a picture of pancakes. There's also a box of macaroni and cheese. And the set does come with some miniature macaroni and cheese, which I love. There's also a carton of milk. There's some orange juice, which is a great breakfast drink to have. And then we'll also place down the macaroni and cheese. So there's a total of two bowls. There's a pink one which can go here, and then there's also a teal one. And there's also a matching pink and teal plate that we'll be adding to the setup later on. And then the set also comes with some macaroni and cheese too. There's a total of two, they're styled exactly the same, and they fit in the bowl, so we're going to be adding the first one there, and then the second one can go right next to it. Underneath the kitchen bench, there's quite a few different compartments for storage, so we have this smaller one over by the side here. We're going to be adding in the plates. There's a teal one and a pink one, and they match the bowls that are a part of the set as well. We also have this compartment, which is perfect for storing away the camp stove. And then we also have this compartment over by the side, and that's perfect for the ice cooler. But we're actually going to be displaying those over by the front and having the entire set style. So we're going to move those out of the way for now. And we won't be storing them away, but it's great to see that there is an option for that. The set also comes with some containers of salt, and pepper that we'll add over by the kitchen bench. The next item we have here is the camping stove. So it does fold down like this, but you can open it up. So it does have some legs over by the bottom. You open the legs like that, you stand it up, and then it also lifts open too. This item can be removed or else you can place it back down like so. There's also some knobs over by the front, and they do twist, and there's a button over by the side. We'll just be placing down the pot over by one side and the fry pan over by the other side. I love how they're peach, they match the camper. And then we also have this egg and bacon mix. And there's also a spatula as well, so we'll make it look like the spatula is sitting underneath the eggs and bacon like so. The next item we take you a look at is the storage cooler. There's some compartments at the top, so you're able to display different drinks. And then there's also a compartment over here to display the food. It does open and close. So you're able to add some items. It's very lightweight and there's a handle as well. It's such a bright yellow color and I love the mountain design over by the side. But what we're going to do is we're going to be adding the water bottle over here that's a part of the set. Has a mountain design on it as well. It's a bright yellow color. I love how it matches the cooler. And then we also have some eggs here too. So it says free range eggs. You can open it up. It shows a total of six eggs inside and we'll just place it like that. Here we have an overview of the camper set up with the kitchenette, the cooler, and the camping stove as well. It's really great how it comes with a variety of different food items, but I really would have liked cutlery to be included in the set. So let's go ahead and style the inside of the camper. The camper itself has a door over by the front here. There's also a small window, and then there's a skylight which does open and close. It is quite a small space to access the camper itself, and the camper is quite a small set in general compared to some of the other camper sets that American Girl has released throughout the years. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the mattress down. It's in a total of three different sections. 
you can open it up like this and you can have it completely flat or else you can have this section lifted up like that and you can just have a lounge chair or else you can fold this piece up and you can turn it into a seat. I really like that, how you can change it three different ways, but it is quite a small space and it's quite hard to shift between the three different sections. Let's go ahead and add the bedding. What I love about the bedding is that it's reversible and there's two different options. So first off, we have the side that matches the mattress. It's a blue color, it's really pretty, but my favorite side is this side over here. It is so gorgeous. There's a lovely flower design, it's so pretty. I love how the teal and the pink match the plates and the bowls that are part of the set. I'm going to choose this side, but both options are definitely really great. And there's a total of two different cushions a part of the set. So this one has a stripe design and the other one is styled exactly the same. We'll place both of those over by the back. There is also a window over by the side of the set and it's styled exactly the same as the one over by the other side. This item is just a picture. It says camper sweet camper. I love the detail of it. It's perfect for camping. Then we also have this table which does lift up and it folds back down too. There is a switch over by the back section of the camper and it turns on and off two lights. There are some compartments for storage over by the side of the door. So this is really great for magazines and books. The set does come with one. It's the American Girl Camping Journal and Log Book. When you open up, there's details inside. There's different pictures and space to write information all about camping. So that can go over there. And then we also have a torch that can go over by this holder too. In case if you're wondering, the wheels do actually work in the camper. If you lift the front of the camper up, the wheels go backwards and forwards. And here's what the other side of the camper looks like. There's a star design over here, there's the window, and then it says American Girl over by the bottom. There's also some compartments over by the front here to add this attachment, and that just goes right in the middle there. And here we have an overview of the side of the camper with the bedding and the pillows and the accessories over by the side of the door. It would have been really great if it came with a few more accessory items to style the inside of the camper, but I do love how the table folds up and down over by the side of the wall. This is definitely a great set if you love the outdoors. I love how we have the main living area over in the middle and the kitchenette over by the back. It does have quite a few different features and it makes different sounds and noises themed to the outdoors. The next set we're going to be taking a look at is the American Girl Hotel and Spa set. This set is a two-in-one set as one side features a hotel room setup while the other side features a spa setup. And the set itself comes with quite a few different spa themed accessories and items. Now that we've unwrapped the packaging from the set, let's go ahead and take a look at the American Girl Hotel and Spa. So over in the middle, we have this bed set up. It does fold up, which is perfect for storage, and you can fold it down and it opens up to a bed. We have this frame here, so you're able to add artwork, and we also have this bed head here, and this is made out of plastic. This item is removable. It's made out of wood, and it's just meant to be for the mattress, so you can place it down like that so it stays in place. And then we also have this gorgeous flower design featured over at the front, and that design is featured on a lot of the accessories a part of the set. Let's go ahead and place the mattress down on the bed. It's this gorgeous light pink color. There's definitely a lot of pink accessories and items a part of the set, so it does match the theme to it. Then we also have a reversible comforter as well. There's two different options to choose from. So over by one side, we have this really pretty flower design. I love the pink and the green. And then over by the other side, it's a light green color. Between these two options, I'm going to pick this side with the flowers on it. And over by the back of the bed, we're going to add the pillows. There's a total of two. They say American Girl Hotel and Spa on them. They're pink and green, and we have that flower design over in the middle to match the bed. They're both styled exactly the same, so we're going to place them here like so. Over by the side of the bed, we're going to be placing down this robe. I love the detail of it. There's a gorgeous floral design to match a lot of the set itself. There's some pink over by the straps and in the middle of the set too. We're just going to place it over by the side here just so it's displayed like so. The set also comes with some pink slippers too. This side table here could be used in both the spa section and the hotel section of the room setup. There's some shelving units. It's made out of a lightweight plastic and there's also a section over by the top to display some items. So we have a plant here that's going to go over by the side and right next to it, we're going to be placing a glass of water. Right next to the bedroom, we have the bathroom section. There's a main feature mirror over in the middle and as for the wallpaper, it looks like tiled decor. And right below the mirror, we have the toilet and the sink. The toilet's over by one side and you can fold it up, which is really great for storage. And then we also have the sink over here too. The tap does move from side to side. We're going to add some items right next to it. So we have this bar of soap, that's a part of the set. That can go over there. And right next to it, we have some hand and body lotion. There's also a toilet roll just next to the toilet. 
Over by the other side of the bed, we have this lovely design over by the back wall. So these curtains are printed on, they're not real. So they look like they're open and they're revealing this gorgeous window of this garden. There's trees, rocks, and there's water as well. There's a ledge over by the side here. This is printed on as well, it's not real. There's towels and there's a little plant as well. A spa setup would not be complete without a lounge chair. So this lounge chair lays completely flat. It is made out of plastic in case if you're wondering, so it is very lightweight, but you can have it also in a seated position as well. So this section does open up. So if you connect it to the first section, it'll look more of like a lounge chair rather than completely flat, or else you can place it in the second section and it looks like it's seated a little bit more. There are a total of four sheets of paper part of the set themed to the hotel. So we have guest services and it shows some of the features of the hotel, like the pool and spa. Then we also have a local guide. There's an invoice and there's different wellness activities as well. I have organized the sheets of paper into this folder here. There's a total of three different compartments, one on either side and one in the middle as well. So let's go ahead and fold it up and we'll just have it displayed over by the side here. I had the side table displayed over next to the bed, but I think I'm going to add it over to the lounge chair here just so we have a storage place for the towel. So we have the plant and then the ice water and then we also have these two shelving units. So here we have the towel. There's a total of two apart of the set. I love this design. It says American Girl Hotel and Spa. It's completely plain for the rest of the set. What we're going to do is we're going to fold it up so it fits into the compartment itself. So we're going to fold it again and we'll add it like that. And then we also have the second towel here as well. We'll fold that up and we'll add that there too. And here we have an overview of the hotel section of the room set up with the lounge chair over by one side, the bed over in the middle and the toilet and vanity section over on the other side. I love how there's different compartments and room setups within the room itself. So let's go ahead and style the spa section of the room. And here we have the other side of the setup. This design is perfect for a reception or a front counter area of a spa. So we have designs of towels, there's different products like sugar scrubs. There is a sugar scrub a part of the set, but we'll set it up over by the bath. We also have this little design over in the middle as well. And then we also have a door design that says changing room. The front counter does take up most of the space of this front section, but here's what the back of the front counter looks like. So there's some shelving units, and then we also have a back shelf too. And here's the front of the front counter. It says American Girl Hotel and Spa. There's a plant design. This is made out of plastic, so it's not actual plants. There's another counter here, and there's some shelving units on either side too. So let's add this item to the setup. It is a bottle of hand sanitizer. It does say hand sanitizer on the front, and here's what the back looks like. We'll add that over on the top shelf. And as for the bottom shelf, we have this item, and it is calming massage oil, and it's styled very similar to the body wash that we added over to the bathroom setup on the other side. Over by the back shelf, we're going to be adding in this pitcher. It has some cucumber water, and then we also have another glass of ice water. There's a total of two a part of the set. I'm going to be using some of the items a part of the spa setup that I already used in the hotel room setup, just to show you how you can use the accessories in both room setups. So we have this plant over here. We already added that to the hotel, but I'm just going to add it over by the side of the counter. The set comes with a monitor and you can move the screen up and down depending on how you'd like to display it. So we'll display it like that. And then it also has a screen and it's reversible. So there's two different options to choose from. Over by one side, we have a website that says, welcome to the American Girl Hotel and Spa. It shows different rooms and suites and you can make a reservation. Then over in the back, it talks about the actual spa and the different services. So we're going to choose the hotel and spa. There's an opening over by the top of the monitor. That's where you place the screen and then you place it into the monitor like so. We already added this item over in the hotel section of the setup, but I'm just going to place it over by the front counter here. And then we also have a bell that's a part of the set. The back design featured on the wall is so pretty and perfect for a spa. We have some cherry blossoms and trees and there's some fountains and butterflies as well. There's a little shower head over the side here, but that's just for design. That's not actually a part of the setup. Then it says American Girl Hotel and Spa over there with a plant design too. The bath is a standalone item. It's not attached to the hotel and spa, so you can move it out of the way and you can add it over to the hotel side or display it over in the spa section. I have it over in the spa section and it fits in this compartment perfectly. There's a hot and cold tap. It does twist from side to side. It doesn't actually work. The bath is just for decoration only, but I love how they added this blue green plastic to make it look like there's water in the bath. I already had the towels displayed over by the lounge chair on the other side, but I just grabbed one of those towels so we can have it over by the bath like that. You can have the logo displayed over in the front, but one of my favorite items apart of the set would definitely have to be the sugar scrub. I love the detail of this item. So it does come with a lid. It says sugar scrub over at the front, but you can remove the lid. And there's actually an indent over in the middle to make it look like it has been used. I love the detail of that item because normally the lids are shut in jars and you can't open it up, but this one you can. 
Then we also have a spoon as well, and it looks like some of the sugar scrub has been added onto the spoon already. So we'll have that added onto the jar like so, just so it looks like it has been opened. And here we have an overview of the spa section of the American Girl Hotel and Spa with the counter over by one side and the bath over by the other side. What I love about the set is that we have the hotel section over by one side and the spa section over by the other side, and you can mix and match all the different accessories so you can style the setup however you'd like. For example, you could add the lounge chair over by this side of the spa section, or else you can add the bath over by the bathroom section of the hotel room setup. Overall, I would definitely recommend the set. It's very stylish, and it comes with multiple different accessories and items you'd normally see in a hotel room setup. This set is called the American Girl Coffee Shop Set. It comes with quite a few different food and drink options you would normally see in a coffee shop setup. The set itself is also quite interactive, especially the espresso machine. So let's go ahead and unwrap the packaging so we're able to open it up. So now that we've unwrapped the accessories and items from the American Girl Coffee Shop set, let's go ahead and take a look at the coffee bar. What I like about it is that it is double-sided. So over by this side, we have the coffee shop. It says American Girl Local Bean. There's some display shelving units, and there's also some storage compartments too. And I love the design of the back wall as well. And here we have the back of the coffee bar set up. So we have this counter space, which is attached to the wall. And we have this lovely design over by the front here and a wooden design over by the bottom. Let's go ahead and start off by setting up the kitchen section first. So we have these two small counter spaces, which is perfect for displaying some of the accessory items. So there's a total of four American Girl coffee bean bags, and it says American Girl Roasters 1986. You can see that there's a small window at the front so you can see what the coffee beans look like inside, and they're all styled exactly the same. So I've already placed two down over there, and then we have two to place over by this side. It seems to fit the compartment perfectly, so we'll just style it so they look exactly the same. There are some features over by the middle of the setup here. They aren't battery operated, but I do love the detail of them. So first off, we have a soap dispenser. When you press this button, you can see the soap moving over by the middle here. Then we also have a paper towel dispenser as well. The paper towel stays in the dispenser, but I think it's a really great feature to the set. There's some space over by the side here to display the syrup. So there's a total of four syrups and there's a syrup stand as well. Here we have the stand. What I do like about it is that it's layered so you can see the detail of each flavor. So let's go ahead and take a look at the different options. So first off, there's cherry. It has a cherry symbol over by the front and it has a classic pump over by the top and it's red. So that can go over by the back. Then up next, we have this one. It seems like it's caramel. It has caramel detail over by the front and that's more of an orange color. That can go right there. The next one that we have here is mint. I love the detail of this and it's a gorgeous green color. I love how it's clear so you can see the detail of each flavor as well. And the final one we have here is blueberry and that's more of a blue purple color. So that can go right over here and you can see it's all displayed perfectly like so. In between the syrup and the sink, there's just enough space to add another set of accessory items and I have a total of two plates here. They're made out of plastic and I love how they're blue. This one's more of a teal and that one's more of a darker blue. I'm just going to be stacking them up like that and I'll place them over in the middle. This item is a great decor item for the set. It is a poster. What I love about it is that it's perfect for the coffee shop. So this side is all themed to coffee. It shows different styles of coffees. And then over by the front, it says coffee is always a good idea. What's really great about the poster is that it is double sided. So there's a total of two different options to choose from. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other side. And here we have the other side of the poster. It's a lot more bright and colorful and it's themed to the different food options and desserts and the frappes that they have at the coffee shop. We have the menu over by the corner here. What's really great about the poster itself is that you can choose to remove it from the set. We have these hooks over by the top here and there's attachments that you can hold it in place. Let's go ahead and take a look at the espresso machine, a part of the set. It's a bright yellow color, and what I like about it is that there's a compartment, a part of the set itself, so it stays and it doesn't move around. It doesn't come with batteries, but once you place batteries inside, it makes different sounds and noises. So there are a total of two of these filters, and they do fit over in these compartments, and they do attach in place. And once you attach them, they stay and they don't fall off or anything like that. If you take a look at what it looks like inside, it has some detail, which is really great. And then we also have this compartment over the top here, which looks like coffee. It makes it look realistic and you can remove the lid as well. There are a total of four buttons. All four make sounds and three of them make a steam effect. So what you do for the steam is that there's an opening over by the side here. And when you open this up, you place water inside. So I'm gonna have some water in the cup here. I'm going to place it into the compartment. And once I've added the water in, I'm going to close the compartment shut and actually make steam, which makes it really realistic. So I'll go ahead and press the steam button over here like so. And 
of course you are meant to place the cup there too. The cup seems to fit really well in the area and you can move it around like so. And there are also some more accessories for the espresso machine too. Here we have the frother pitcher. It matches the espresso machine. You can place it over here or else you can move it around like so. And then we also have a frother thermometer as well. And I love how there's an attachment over by the side. So it just attaches over by the side of the pitcher like that. So you're able to check on the temperature too. Let's go ahead and add some accessories to the fridge. So the fridge door is clear so you're able to see what's inside and there's a total of two different shelving units to add the different accessory items. So first off, we have a whipped cream dispenser. This item does move up and down like that and it's a gorgeous silver color and there's a star design over by the front. Then we also have some milk. I'd say this is a very important item to have in a coffee shop as it's for coffee. It says American Girl Organic Milk over by the front. Then we also have some cream cheese as the coffee shop does serve bagels. So you can go ahead and open it up. What I like about it is that the lid does open and close. And then we have some detail over by the front saying American Girl Cream Cheese along with the lid as well. Let's go ahead and place that over there like that. Then we do also have this drink. It is orange juice. It's clear so you're able to see the orange juice inside. And then over by the other side, we're placing down a cupcake. It looks really delicious. There's a little design over by the top and it looks like it is chocolate flavored. Over in the middle here, we do have some cupboard space. There's a total of two doors. You can go ahead and open and close them like so. It seems like there's quite a bit of space there and it's perfect for storing away those accessory items you don't want displayed. So first off, we have this carry box. It's really great for coffee on the go and there's a total of two different compartments, one on either side and it's made out of cardboard too. There are a total of two apart of the set but I'm going to be displaying the other one over by the counter. Then we also have some coffee cups as well. There's a total of four. We have the logo over by the front. But as for the other two, I'm going to be adding it over by the counter as well. So we'll just leave it like that. Seems like there's plenty more space to add more accessory items, but we're going to be leaving it. And then I'm going to go ahead and shut the door like that. And it's staying in place too. There is a drawer over by the side here. Let's see what's inside. It is the trash can. It can be removed so you can place it down or else you can remove it out of the set. This is a great item as it's stored away so it's not displayed a part of the set. So we'll go ahead and place it like that. Then we also have this section for cutlery and smaller accessory items too. I'm not going to be placing anything in that section so we're going to go ahead and close that. So let's go ahead and style the next section of the set. This main feature item is the checkout counter, so it has some of the items to go, the different snacks and the drink options. Then we also have the register here too, so the register does open and close. Then we also have some storage compartments. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front before we start adding the different accessory items from the set. So over by the front here, we have the counter. Then we also have some display shelving units. It says American Girl Loco Bean 1986. And you can see that this design is on a lot of the items, including the coffee cups and the different accessories too. So we're going to go ahead and move it over to the back so we can start adding those items. And we'll first off start adding the notes that are part of the set to the register. The register has a total of three different compartments, so if you have coins and different types of notes, you can organize them. The set does only come with a set of notes, and it's still in the packaging. I'm just going to place it like that and go ahead and close it like so. I have added a few accessory items over in the middle here. So we have the to-go box, and we also have some coffee cups, and then we have this smaller coffee cup that can go here. It's a lovely bright orange color, and it's so perfect for the set. Then over by this bottom compartment, I could definitely add more accessory items, but the only item I'm going to be adding is the apron that's a part of the set. So it's American Girl Local Bean. It's a gorgeous light blue color, and there is Velcro over by the top here and in the middle as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it up and we'll place it here like so. What I really like about these shelving units over by the side here is that they're perfect for displaying some of those smaller accessory items you normally see in a coffee setup. So we have this one over here is a lot smaller than this one underneath it, but I'm going to be displaying the gift card. So there's a total of five of them and I love how there's different designs on them. So this one says you're the best and it features a dog. So we're going to be standing it up like that. The next one has the logo. It says American Girl Local Bean 1986 and it matches the design here. The third one is just a classic gift card. It has the American Girl star on it and it's a really bright pink color. This one says thank you. It's the perfect gift card to give to someone. There's polka dots and designs on it. Then the final one we have here is have a nice day. I think this one's my favorite. It just matches the coffee shop so well. And you can see it takes up most of the space over by the top. There are also some snacks to go besides different pastries and treats. We have some chips here. It says pita chips and it says sea salt and it says baked. We'll place that there. Then there's also some mint chocolate cookies. I love how the packaging is clear for both items. So you can see what's inside. We have some mint and then some chocolate as well. 
there should be enough space to add some more items as there's a total of two for each design. So we have the pita chips. I'm going to see if we can add the cookies as well. So it does fit all of the items, which is really great, except this one is upside down. So let's go ahead and fix that up. There we go. And I love this display section here. Over by the side of the counter here, I've just placed down the monitor and the monitor comes with an interchangeable monitor screen that has a total of two sides. So the first side we have is the transaction side. It shows the order and the total due. And then we also have different items that are part of the set and the payment type too. If we take a look at this side, it's more of the menu. It shows menu, gift cards and rewards, different drink and food options. What's interesting about the pictures here is that they look more realistic than the actual items that are part of the set. For example, this looks more like a chocolate cupcake than the actual accessory item itself. But there is a small opening over by the top of the monitor. So if I were to choose this side, I would just find the opening, place the screen down. So it looks like it's a part of the monitor itself and you would like to switch it out. You can go ahead and remove it like that and then you can switch it over to the transaction side, but we're going to place it over here like so. This item over here is meant to be the credit card swiper. It's quite small, so it doesn't take up too much space on the counter, but it says tap or swipe. There is a small opening over at the bottom here. I have one of the gift cards. When you place it inside, it says card accepted, and then you can remove it again, and it'll take it back to the original screen. I love this item. It's a great addition to the set. Let's go ahead and add the gift card back over to the section over here. And just in front of the monitor, I'm just going to be placing down this plate with the cinnamon roll. There's a total of two apart of the set. And then we also have this frappe. It's cherry flavored. There's whipped cream on the top, and there's a handle over by the side. Then there's also a tip jar as well. It says tips, thanks, the lid can open and close and it's clear so you're able to see all the different tips inside of the jar. There is another indent over by the side of the counter here and it is meant to be for the bakery case. And the bakery case is a great way to display some of the sweet treats and food items that are a part of the set. So, so far we've added a cinnamon roll and a chocolate cupcake. And then we also have a bagel with cream cheese. I love the addition of this to the set just because it's such a common item that you normally see in a coffee shop setup. And here we have the extra items that are a part of the set. So we have a plate and a matching cup with a cream cheese bagel. Then there's also a grapefruit juice. There's three frappes. These two are caramel and this one is cherry. This one is very similar to the other one we placed over on the counter. Then there's two coffee cups. What I love about the coffee cups is that there's designs on the front, there's handle on the sides, and it's really great how you can remove the lid too. I just moved some of the drink options out of the way just so the counter is more organized, but the set does come with a total of two stools. I do have to say that they are quite heavy, so they're really great quality, and they're a gorgeous blue color, so they match a lot of the detail of the set itself. They're both identical and styled exactly the same, and I'm going to place them here like so. And here we have an overview of the American Girl Coffee Shop, completely set up and styled. I do love the detail of the different accessory items, and it's really great how the set is interactive as well. I also really like how the front counter is separate from the coffee shop, so you can style the coffee shop however you'd like. Overall, the Get Outside Camper set, the American Girl Hotel and Spa set, and the coffee shop set are all really great, and I love how they come with matching and themed accessories too. Be sure to comment down below your favorite set in the comment section down below. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it.